Yep. Give us your general thoughts on the upcoming season. Well, very, very excited about, about this year. You know, the way that uh, we ended last year uh, really makes you excited about getting started. You know, one of our last four ball games and uh, we're able to, to win over some some uh, really good football teams. So that, that, that got us excited, you know, about this year starting. And I think that really helped us. It was kind of a springboard into, into our off season. I always think our kids work hard, but I think they were just, uh, you know, extra enthused, uh, you know, throughout the off season. And, uh, you know, they're, they're ready to get started and just feel real good about our football team. You know, have, a, have a T.J. Pryor come back at quarterback. That's, you know, he's a junior. And, uh, you know, we had to put a lot of the game on him as a, as a freshman and a sophomore. Uh, and now with him being a junior and having you know twenty some games under his belt, and four out of our five offensive line coming back, and and several uh, returning running backs, just feel like you know not only is he older and and more in tune to the offense, but feel like we've got a running game to help him, and and pretty talented at wide receiver and the tight end position, you know, to help him. Uh, so the whole game doesn't have to be on on him. He just has to manage the game and let his ability to kind of take over within the game and then defensively you know we have we have some holes to fill you know we don't we didn't lose a lot of guys but w when you lose uh you know the defensive player of the year that's a defensive tackle that doesn't happen much in football where that guy's the defensive player of the year in Andrew Soucy and then Jordan Dalrymple was a you know probably the leader not only of our defense but our whole football team so that's that's a place we've got to have some guys step up and there were guys that that did in the spring uh, but feel good about everybody else coming back uh, on the defensive side, and then special team wise, feel like we've got the best, you know, punter not only in the league but maybe maybe in the nation with with Jordan Berry and and Danny Adams long snapping and and kicking will be the the question mark for us. You know, who comes in and and does a kicking? We signed a junior college kicker, and then also have a you know a redshirt freshman that will you know will will vie for the spot for this year. Your senior cornerback, Jeremy Caldwell, has been named to the Buck Buchanan Award watch list. Tell us about that honor and what Jeremy brings to the team. Well, definitely well deserved. You know, uh, Jeremy's a very, very talented individual. He's a, he's a he's a player that anytime somebody throws in his direction when he's uh, you know on defense or he gets his hand on the football as a as a you know punt returner, kick returner, you you better be on the edge of your seat and you better be watching because you got an opportunity for an explosion you know type of a play to happen and uh, that's just what he is you know he's very very uh, explosive with the football very explosive when the ball is around him and and you you know he's always right you know it's it's either a big play or there's one fixing to come with you know with Jeremy what do you like most about your team this year I like our leadership. I like our, our seniors uh, have really, really stepped up. And in the time of the year where, as a coach, you're not allowed to do anything with, you know, with the players, uh, you know, they really have uh, taken ownership of, of the football team uh, and really saw it right as soon as the changing of the guards, you know, as soon as, as soon as December, you know, banquet saw those guys step up and say, hey, you know, we, we won those last four ball games, got back on track with a winning season last year, and now it's our watch. And, and we're ready to we're ready to you know take on this challenge and and move this football team forward. So really really feel good about uh, about those guys and what they've done. What are your general impressions of the OVC race this year? Wide open, like like always. You know, I mean, I think I think Southeast Missouri, uh, you know, last year just you know was just a a stamp on you know what everybody's always saying about this league or have been since since I've been in the league is that. Is that there's a lot of parity. You know, there's a lot of parity in college football, and the OVC is is right up there with everybody else. You know, and anybody can win any Saturday, and and so you've got to come prepared as a coach, and and the players have to be prepared and realize that you know anybody on your schedule can beat you, and you can beat anybody on your schedule also. So it's it's a reality. What is the biggest challenge for your team this year? You know, I don't think it changes. You know, I think I think every year it's it's you know, going back to the last statement that anybody, you can beat anybody in your schedule, but anybody's schedule can beat you. So it it comes down to preparation. You know, we've got talented guys. East Illinois has got talented guys. Jacksonville State's got talented guys. Murray, right on down the right on down the line. So it's not a it's not a lack of talent uh, that that usually costs you a game. It's a lack of preparation uh, throughout the week, and then and then just the right mental approach on game day. You know, do you show up, and are you able to? To match, you know, what you've been given in, in the area of talent, are you matching that with effort and, and being productive on game?